Hello and welcome everyone. This is Bill Pull here, welcoming you to the hottest corner of the stock market, Bulls Corner. Today I'm here to introduce you about the ultimate game changer tool, which is Mastering Volume and Volume Profile in Trading. Volume has it's a powerful tool that can help you take sniper entries and exit in your trades. When combined with Volume Profile, you have got a dynamic duo that can make or break your trading game. So in our upcoming class, we are going to dive deep into the world of volume analysis. I'll break down the complex concept into easy to understand strategies that can help you implement right away. Today, we'll cover four topics. Number one, understanding volume. Two, unlocking volume profile. Three, trading like a pro. And then in the end, we'll look at some of the case studies that can help you analyze real life trading scenarios, showcasing how volume and volume profile have played an important role in making successful trades for me in the past. So without wasting any time, let's get right into it. Guys, uh, so what is what is basically volume is, uh, you know, all the volume bars that you see down here, you know, this, these are buying and selling volume. Um, and then to to interpret it, you know, which one is a buying, which one is a selling, um, you know, then you need to incorporate support and resistance and supply and demand in your strategy. Um, I see most people, you know, see this, uh, you know, a red bar or this green bar and then, uh, you know, say just a buying volume and the red is uh, selling volume, but that is not entirely true. You know, most people see this, you know, uh, red bars or green bars, and you know, they, they, you know, they identified as, you know, sell volume and buy volume, which is not true. So, you know, and then once you see those, you know, red, you know, these, you know, colorful bars of volume, even on a smaller time frame, you know, then sometimes you may get biased to, uh, you know, by looking at the green candle. Oh, this is a, you know, buy volume, even though price is in the resistance, you know, it will show you a green bar, but, you know, it end up uh, being. Uh, a sell volume and then how you can do it so you know uh to have not any bias you know when trading the volume you know i i have it in one single color you know as you can see on my screen it's gray color and then you can have it any any color you want if i go in here growing and falling it does not matter i just want in one color i just want to see um you know where the most volume is being traded you know uh, th that is the area that you know where i'm interested in taking a trade so now let's take example on the daily time frame. So you know what do we need to look for in terms of volume uh, when I'm trading it? Uh, let's incorporate with the supply and uh, supply and demand of support and resistance that we talked earlier, right? So and then you know I'll, I'll try to give you more examples using uh, candlestick patterns uh, that we learned on day two, and you know the, the magnets. You know we cannot really incorporate with it because you know that is something that you uh, we use to manage trend. Or uh, you can also incorporate uh, using higher 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 highs and higher lows. Uh, when, you know when price forms. So let's you know let's understand the basics uh, behind the volume. You know how to look for a good volume bar or how to good look for a good um, you know candle. To take the trade especially you know, reversals you know you can only trade reversals um on uh, with volume on spy or you know anywhere uh, most of the time so what you want to see is simple uh let's say if you're trading breakouts you know fuzzing rocks you know really simple let's you're trading breakouts you know this is a resistance here uh price is you know closed above on this 15 minute candle and then you know i have this you know huge volume bar uh high up you know it doesn't have to be huge but it, it, it should be relatively uh, bigger than than the prior you know a couple candles let's say all these prior candles are small and then you know the, and then we have this you know one uh, unusual high volume bar and then the price is breaking out too you know that is confirming um, my bias of going long you know only you know if 15 minute candles closing above you guys know the basic rules uh only if the 15 minute candle is closing above uh, my level and uh, only 50 minute candle closing above on the retest. Now I have confirmed uh, that you know 50 minute candle closing above my level, and then now that the successful breakout, uh, buyers are coming in, and now you know that's another check. And then on the retest, I'm going to add you know another check is going to be our magnet um, below, uh, you know below the retest uh, of this uh, level here. Particular, so you know, same you know is going to go with the support level. You know we getting this support breakdown we're getting a retest as the breaking down we're getting this huge volume bar you know which, which the volume should be relatively higher than the prior candles you know if it's you know higher than here you know that's e even better because you know that's just giving you uh you know good extra confirmation to you know can get into a trade you know with the very tight stops which is going to be uh, closing above uh, this candle or 
uh, closing above the prior swing highs that you uh, are watching. And then uh, a good way to actually look at volume, you know, how I uh, use it on these uh, supply and demand is looking at these huge volume spikes. You know, this is one of you, you want to look at these huge volume spike right at the bottom and at the highs. So what you're going to notice is most of the time uh, you're going to see these huge volume spikes right at the bottom or at the top, you know, which will confirm that, you know, uh, now it's almost time for a reversal. Um, you know, it, it you know, it, then it does not matter which time frame you're trading as long as you're seeing a huge volume spike into the resistance as the price is approaching a supply zone. And then you, uh, as soon as, you know, price hits the supply zone and after a couple of candles or in the same candle, you see a huge volume spike. You know, at, at that point, if I'm, let's say, long, I'm in runners, uh, I would, you know, take out my position, I would take profits. Or if I'm not long, let's say, uh, in the supply, high volume ball comes in, then, you know, I would, uh, you know, then I would go ahead and take the short position because, you know, that is confirming there's a huge volume is being traded because, you know, the science behind would be, you know, just pretty simple. Let's say price, you know, here and then we got a breakout and then there's a huge uh, volume bar right here, you know, on that breakout and then the price is going higher. And then, you know, this is a uh, prior swing highs or resistance or supply, whatever. And then price goes here, I tagged it, and then we I saw another huge volume bar. So at that point, yeah, it, it, it would just be a common sense that, you know, the, the smart money that we bought here, you know, after all this run up uh, into this prior resistance, it's definitely not going to be a buy, you know, it's definitely going to be a sell. And then uh, same thing as, the, you know, uh, going into uh, the support here. So, you know, a lot of volume when price broke down this uh, you know uh, this support here and coming down and then also a huge volume spike as they come into the support or demand level you know then you know that's obvious obvious that you know after you know two four percent dump or even you know less if trading smaller time frame then you know after this huge dump it's definitely not gonna be uh, a sell volume it's definitely a buy volume uh, you know, which is obviously you want to confirm with all other factors. Like you know, it has to has, it has to have a valid demand zone. It has to have, uh, you know, a fresh demand zone or a good support zone. Uh, to you know all that you know, couple of the factors. Then you know when you combine them all together, and then you get your confirmation. Right now, let's uh, take a look at some of the examples. Uh, to see if we can find right here. Right, so the reason uh you know you we knew it when this candle broke down here you know there was a clear um, break of structure here on this bearish engulfing that was the, in the candlestick patterns that i showed you guys um bearish candlestick is it's a reversal pattern and look what happened on this bearish engulfing candle we have this huge volume bar you know huge volume spike if you go back you know there are on the end of these candles you know there are not lot of volumes on these candles you know relatively high volume and then it, it broke structure um also and then um, the structure broke and the next time the close you know this is where our reversal started and then the, and this candle also broke structure on bearish engulfing gap down confirming that you know there was high chances that these are selling you know definitely after this uh, run up uh for almost you know from 431 to 460 so our 30 point run up i see a huge volume bar definitely it's going to be a sell and then we're going to remove this one and then we see uh this uh bullish engulfing right here and then what do you see on bullish engulfing a massive volume you know even in prior day you know at the, at the same levels around same levels you know even though it was a bearish engulfing but it's a huge volume you know the you know and that kind of gave me a hint that you know we might be near a short term uh, bottom in price and uh, look at the daily time frame right here on this candle even though you know price gapped up a lot uh, above highs um, it was it was up you know from 443 to almost 450 that is seven points up you know which is a lot of move uh, in just in just a couple of days and then price is also putting supply zone in a smaller time frames and then i saw a huge volume uptick on 14 september right here you know which kind of you know uh gave me warning that we might sell the next day and then i took puts uh on uh, this uh, highs too if we go into smaller time frame right here you know price was in the clear supply zone too right here you know this prior uh prior swing highs price uh, went to it uh tagged it and the next day price gap down hard on um, with volume price reversed 
on high volume and look what happened reversed on high volume this is where the move started a huge volume bar right here huge volume bar what happened after right uh and then it just you know came back down guys it might be lagging because i'm i'm recording too but uh i don't think it's gonna be record uh it's gonna be a lag uh in the recording when you guys rewatch it uh so huge volume um bar on the reversal and then you know i do not care guys you know what happened here you know in in this whole move down then i'm looking at next support level which is obviously a gap filled gap filled and then look you know what started to happen all these times you know even though price was chopping um sideways what happened you know we had this nice hammer with a high volume you know with uh, this is high volume and even today you know a higher volume than all these prior candles and a, and a bullish engulfing um, on the daily time frame confirming that this might be the bottom uh, for the next uh, couple of days or next couple of weeks and then uh, how i'm gonna support the reversal next is let's say you know on on monday you know we got a small pullback here you know i will try to go long on that dip you know targeting this you know gap fill here right here and you know around this zone you know, this is the next supply zone i'm watching it's the next uh daily supply so let's say price goes here and then as soon as it goes here i see another huge uptick in volume right here you know this is where i would know that you know and those swing traders or those two institutions those who bought uh here you know they, they definitely sold it they, they took some profit now it's time for it to you know take a breather or even go down or you know for another pump up you know then that is you know we need definitely more data but this is what i'm expecting gonna happen one 100 when price goes into gonna go into supply again we, we're gonna see another huge uh, volume uptick just like this one now let's uh, take a look uh, into a smaller time frame how you can uh, analyze that looking at 30 minute time frame like these ones so huge volume uptake you know price you know even though you know most people you know probably go bullish on this uh, on this breakout and you know there was a clear fake out of the prior highs as soon as you know we had the clear fake out of prior highs there's a huge you know nice volume uptake right here on 30 minute time frame followed by a fake out and then you know volume slowly died off and then right here you know right before uh it's gonna reverse a huge volume uh came in Right, a huge volume came in on the 30 minute time frame and then price jumped right after it right and then guys even at the bottoms too right price price gave the bottom and guys again you you can uh you can you know you don't have to look at you know these huge volume uh, uh bars you know in and in the last you know 15 20 minutes you know sometimes uh you know it's they're not true but you know all you have to do is you look at the prior demand in this the clear demand zone this is what this was the prior lows here price came into this and then we saw a nice volume uptake right here compared to you know these candles here a uh, nice volume uptake on here and then you know price bounced you know both of candles huge volume came in you know gives you a confluence that you know there are high chances uh, these are the buys and not the sells after this uh run down and then you know price went higher mm. Even on this gap up, right? that was a clear supply zone. This is where the price, um, you know, made a new lows, you know, form, forming this lower highs, you know, lower lows and lower highs. Price, you know, went back to this uh, highs there, and then on this volume, we, we got this nice volume up here, and then on the gap up, easy shots, you know, once we break the range. Again, you do, you just look at the volume, you know, for uh, confirmation. You know on on this you know you don't you just go you just don't go ahead and take the trade right away you know as soon as you see the volume and then the thing is what you can look for is something like let's say you know there's a shooting star into the resistance and then uh you see a huge volume bar 
on the shooting star and then you you know that that just confirming your bias that all right you know there are high chances we can dump and then uh, most people uh, sold into the shooting star or you know there's a uh, bullish engulfing at the lows and then uh, then you see a huge volume coming in on that bullish engulfing and then you enter on the high you know on the high break on the retest right so just use it uh, as a confluence you know um, to your other uh, to your trade you just you know don't look at volume and just trade right based off of it obviously you need you know uh, three or four things uh, to, uh you know to, to group together and then take a trade so just there for the confirmation uh when you want to take a trade let's look at you know a couple more examples amd uh, can be a good one Like this one, you know, price was consolidating sideways right here. And then, you know, there was literally no volume on this one. But when we when we broke out of this volume, you know, on huge bearish uh, bullish engulfing, a huge volume uptick, you know, confirming that, uh, you know, this, uh, that this might be the bias, you know, after a huge sell uh, from here. And then even right here, as you uh, huge bearish engulfing, but a lot of volume and look what happened, you know, all this dump. You know, it's, it's, it was obvious to assume that price is not going to fall, you know, on this huge volume. And then you know, just a day after on a little bit, you know, more uh, uptick in volume and then price ripped higher. And then a small right here, a small, relatively high volume compared to other days on this candle in which was the uh, top for the AMD and then price dropped back down. And then another high volume today into the supply zone. So, you know, which which can be a reversal for uh, you know for a day or two is closed in supply high volume uh, i would not buy here uh, amd at any point only you know if uh, less it comes back into this zone this demand you know i would prefer buy it again or probably rally up uh rally to the upside um so you know these are some of the ways you know you can look at the volume uh apple i can show you i can show you you know these kind of examples on any any um any time frame or uh, that's good apple here And then looking looking at this, you know, price on this, you know, price is in this range, you know, holding this uh, rising wedge right here, and then uh, rejection on on this candle highs, and then look at the volume, you know, the past three days on on Apple, you know, a lot of high volume, you know, accumulated at the highs, you know, confirming that you know those who bought, uh, you know, this rally definitely not the bias, and then look what happened, price just dumped after. Uh, you know, a couple of days on earnings and the right here, you know, gapped up a lot of volume on that gap up. But, you know, most people say, oh, you know, the volume is coming in. You know, there are high chances we're going to continue uh, from up here. Because if you think if you think like a bank, and then then you would know that, you know, uh, big banks, you know, or institutions of smart money, they do not, uh, you know, like to buy expensive stuff. They like to buy cheap stuff and then they sell you the expensive stuff. You know when they when they bought cheap here or around this zone or on on this dip you look at the volume on this dip and then high volume on that dip they bought it gapped up and then sideways uh, on this you know high volume right here on this reversal and then came back down for uh into the demand and then bounced back up so guys so that's how volume works think like a bank uh and then you know you you can uh, trade with them so they leave you they leave you the clues with all these candlestick patterns uh with, with the volume and then uh, you know and then you then you add higher lows and you know you're basically a, a, the trend strategy that i uh told you as i think day three and then you also add this your magnet strategy to it and then um, you can definitely um beat the banks uh, pretty easily like we do every single week uh apple right here yeah I mean, I'll show you, look at this small candle, but look at the volume on it, you know, huge volume and on the drop on huge volume, you know, confirming that these were the cells and then back to back some red volume on it and then a high volume candle on into the demand right here. You know, this was a, you know, clear demand zone right here. This is a clear demand came into the demand zone with the on volume and look what happened a nice rip of the bottom almost three and a half or four to four percent on that volume and and same thing happened here right at the prior support 
five volume came in, price went higher. So guys, you know, these are things that you need to look for, you know, especially when you are day trading or, or, uh, or swing trading. Again, you know, uh, the strategy that I told you earlier about, you know, on the breakouts, if price is breaking out, I'm looking at the volume, that is not mandatory. Because, right? you know, if price is breaking out, if the setup is good, if the volume is not there, you know, it's not like I'm not going to take the trade. I will still go ahead and take the trade. But if volume is there, it's just you know, it's just there to confirm my bias. That's it. If it's just not there, uh, you know, I'm I'm still fine with it, especially on the on the breakout trades. As once the the breakout is uh, you know, confirmed, or only when the candle is closed. When the candle is closed, breakout is confirmed. That means the volume is going to come slowly, and you know, later on, you know, as we rip higher or as, or as we go lower, right? Uh, but when it comes to uh, when it comes to uh, reversals from supply and demand, you know, then I like to look at and I, I would like to you know, definitely look at the volume because I want to see, you know, uh, what is big money is doing uh, in that supply and demand zone. You know, that definitely give me a more confidence um, you know, to hold on to my trade for longer or just to initiate a trade in that particular supply and demand zone. Any questions on uh, volume? Let me know. And then after that, we have a volume profile of, you know, um, talk a little bit about this one. Is let's just talk the basics of this one, you know, what are the basics of this uh, volume profile. So this volume shows you, uh, you know, how much volume is being, is, is traded in a, in, in a particular candle. But uh, this volume profile shows you, you know, how much volume is being traded at a particular level. Right. So if you combine them both together, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a definitely a deadly combination. And then, you know, obviously, if you uh, combine it with support and resistance and supply and demand, definitely a good, uh, uh, good combo. We're looking at volume profile of Apple. And then, you know, the things that you want to look at is these high volume nodes. You know, these are your resistance levels and support levels. So that means, uh, you know, the, the bigger the volume, not going to be the the explosive, the move going to be from that, um, from the volume node. It could be the higher move or it could be the downside move. And then the main thing that you want to look at, you know, when trading these uh, volume nodes is that you, let's say if you are trading the downside, so basically these volume nodes are also act as a magnet. Think about it, you know, this is a huge volume node coming out. And then, you know, this is a price tra trading here. And then we, you also got your resistance, you know, it's obviously gonna be a resistance or support around this level here where the volume node is. And then the next volume node is, you know, somewhere down here. And then uh, price broke down, uh, you know, of this volume node. And then now, you know, there is little no volume traded here, you know, there are no volume bars and then then there's a huge volume bar right here. What is going to happen? These bars are going to attract the price like it's like a magnet. So price in the volume gap is going to you know, quickly go to this, uh, the next high volume node. And then it's gonna, probably going to bounce from here or, you know, going to spend some time and then break down again to the next high volume node. And same with the upside. Looking at SPY here. Uh, we can use this anchored volume from the bottom. Look what happened with the with the spy. You know, we have this huge volume right at the top. Huge volume was forming. Let me. make it to 60 and then now we know that you know price is forming a huge node so price are consolidating sideways at the highs you know price went a lot from the bottom to the highs and then right at these highs you know when we were about to top what happened is there was a lot of volume forming at these highs so you know that's definitely not a good sign when you're trading you know um the upside because you can see price is going sideways for a couple of days and then you see a huge volume volume node is forming that shows that uh you know there's a big money probably uh, dumping uh you know into this uh you know this uh, high volume area and then where it's gonna go next is definitely gonna go um you know there's, there's a clear gap here so if price breaks below this volume 
or you know you mark this box here where it's going to go next it's definitely going to go to this next volume ball right here that's the next volume node and price probably going to take a break around this uh, around this level here and then we're going to probably you know go sideways and then if we break it again where it's going to go next it's, it's definitely going to go next um below uh this volume node right here and then if you guys see uh what happened next you know as you know prices you know going sideways and then finally broke below it and then broke below of this volume node instantly dumped to this uh next volume node and then you know and where it bounced right exactly at that high volume node you know just acted as a magnet to the price and then going higher and you know we got a we got a big uh pump of this zone and then we had rejected again in that same exact volume node from there so that's why i was pretty sure when i was looking at this daily chart i was looking at the weekly charts you know uh these high volume bars you know they were pretty high so, you know uh you know they, they're hard to break out and they're hard to break down too at the same time so so you so they act as you know a good support and resistance levels uh on your no daily or uh, any 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 uh, time frame you're trading um so and where, where it's gonna go again it's gonna reject it it's gonna go back to, to this gap it went back to this gap and then you know, there was and then it's the next day just gap down below this huge volume node and then you know just we have this huge volume gap right here and looking at it so I, you know finally bounced of this huge volume high resistance here you know even though i expected a little bit more down uh, around this zone but it never went down but you know we still bounced to the dot here uh, of this gap field and then uh, you know of this volume bar i, I did expect it to go down here but you know we, uh, there, are, there are chances that we might go there you know next week so let's say if price you know goes here next week right here so let's say you know next week price dumped into this you know, huge volume node you know that's a no-brainer long area for a couple of days or a couple of weeks because that's a massive volume node you know i have not seen on spy you know since you know i don't know covid covid bottom so uh, that was that you know that was another reason that price jumped so high um you know uh you know like a rocket you know when we broke out of this level you know um, back in may on uh, this year broke out and then you know went a lot higher looking at you know another replay right here you know huge volume you know breaking out and then where it's gonna go you know a huge volume broke out of this node and a huge volume gap right here which is this zone you know definitely gonna go there break out of here and then you know this is the next you know uh, volume this is where it you know went in just a couple of weeks so that's how you can use uh the volume profile uh to your uh, advantage uh, looking at 30 minute time frame can definitely uh, trade on 30 minute time frame to auto uh, use volume profile i use anchored volume profile what you uh, what you can do is uh how you can use it something like you know you can mark prior day highs and prior day lows on it let's look at this lows here and then this uh, prior days lows here and then you see most of the volume uh not here from the uh, from the prior swing highs to the prior uh, lows here these are prior swing highs and these are the prior lows and then price was clearly ranging sideways and then once price broke out of this huge volume was accumulating in this range so that that means that's a chop range you don't want to be in that uh you know in, in that volume you only want to you know, only when I trade when price is in this gap and then look what happened you know price instantly uh, you know closed above it this resistance level you know now you know the price is in a volume gap instantly pushed you know way above it all you know went all the way back uh, to this uh, volume node on that 30 minute or there's another way that you can use it which is you know you turn on the map and then you look for a point of control um you know most people use point of control uh to trade uh, on intraday time frame which is you know uh pretty simple to realize say you using this prior swing highs and prior swing lows to uh, you know take long or short entries and then this is this is the point of control where most is most volume is uh you know is being traded 
and then you know as long as price is below it um you know the point of control is going to act like a magnet to the price and then price is closing above this uh, volume control you know point of control that means you know this is where most volume win now that majority is long and then they are in profit and then the price is going to push higher and then if we break below the volume point of control let's say of the prior days or or you have the weekly volume range or you have a daily volume range that you're trading it really depends you need to you know or tweak it according to your strategy uh you know have to back test it a lot you know of uh, which works you for you you know which time frame you know does not work for you but that's the basic how you trade it uh, the volume uh, profile uh, on uh, on daily and on a smaller time frame so um, any questions on on this volume profile do let me know so now looking at you know this you know despite 30 minute time frame you know price bounced higher um, a lot from the highs and then now i'm going to take this uh, prior swing highs to the prior swing lows now price is in this in you know huge volume gap and if we break above this prior highs you know where it's gonna go high chance which is gonna go straight uh to this uh, 439 429 breaks you know that uh, 439 440 is my next target you know where i would uh, probably initiate another short position with the target of this uh, another gap fill and then you know this is where we decide if, you know pressing gonna keep bouncing or we're gonna go back to the lows so that's that is my game plan going forward if i'm just looking at the volume profile so that's how you can trade volume and volume profile if you guys still have any questions regarding this class please dm me or ask in the chat i will get back to you hope you guys like this class i'll catch you guys in the next one have a good day